welcome to the show. You know, a friend of mine, J.C. Dunn, taught me how to do this. You know how long it took him to teach me? It took five years. Five years for me to learn how to do this. Hi there. It's time for... You look... <coughs> I'm sorry. It's time for... <coughs> it's... <clears throat> it's time for... <coughs> Ew. I'm glad I brought that up. Anyways, it's time for Illusions in the Kitchen. And today, we have a, uh, a circus trick for you. Right over here, ladies and gentlemen, we have the world-famous circus wagon that'll cause a girl to change into a bunny. To help me with this, please welcome Princess Amelia! Yeah. Now, she's going to climb into the circus wagon like this. And she's going to wave to you like that. You wave back like this, and she goes into the wagon like that. I close it like this, and then open the front like that. And she waves you like this, and you wave back like that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's just a mere simple magic gesture to perform this. Stick your fingers out like this. Aim it over at the circus wagon, and say, la, 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 la. Perfect. For you've changed her from a girl into a girl. Wait a minute, something went terribly wrong. Huh, I wonder what it, it... Oh yeah, the bag. If you're gonna change someone into a bunny, you're going to need a bunny mask. Here, put this on your head. She's going to need a cotton polyester tail. Here, keep your booty up. Clench. Ew. Seek your fingers out like this, everybody. Wiggle your fingers. And let's see if you did it. Oh, yeah, look at that. She is a 100% pure bread. Japanese, half American. Bunny Rabbit, isn't she adorable? <laughs> well, folks, mommy doesn't like it when I turn the kids into animals, especially bunnies, because they use the pellets all over the house. Not only that, they chew on wires. Let's leave no doubts. Alright everybody, get ready. First, let's take the mask off. Ooh, let's take her, ta Ew, her tail. Now I need your help, everybody. Fingers out like this. Lo and behold, ladies and gentlemen, girl the bunny, back to girl princess. learn some magic and uh, the last episode I showed you a trick using a straw. Uh, you can use that same straw um, and then you take a big thick string like this and you suck it through like this. Watch this. It's kind of cool. <laughs> and uh, then you take the straw and you uh, you bend it in half like this. About the middle. Oh, there about the middle. Oh, that looks like it's about the middle. Bend it in half. Now, you take, oh, here they are. Take a pair of scissors and you uh, cut the straw right there. Now, interesting thing is the string didn't fall out, did it? And you can, in fact, do this now. And it's all fine. So, how did I do that? Here's the secret. All right, what you're going to need for this trick is a straw, a uh, length of string. Kite string is probably the best. It moves smoother than this. This is actually candle wick string, and it uh, gets hung up on things easily. A pair of scissors and a uh, box cutter. Now, if you're a kid, 
I want you to get your parents to do this for you. If you're an adult, go for it. Just be real careful. What you're going to do is you're going to take the box cutter and you're just going to go along like that. And you've created a little slice in here, which is dang near impossible to see. But you've got that like that. But when you hold it like this, even at close up, you can't see that cut. And I've got that cut facing you right there. It's right there. See, it just disappears. Now, take the string, fold it a little bit so that you get a good, uh, almost like you're plugging the bottom. And then suck it through. <laughs> Not the most hygienic, so I wouldn't hand this out afterwards. Now, when you're handling this, you want to make sure that the sliced part right here is on the bottom. You can see the string coming out of it. We'll pull that back in. You want the sliced part to be facing down. So the sliced part is right here. When you go to bend the straw, try to get as close to the middle as you can. And you're like this. Then just pull the straw. Or pull the string. When you pull the string, you do you don't do it in front of everybody. It's like you're straightening it up, just kind of give it a pull. What happens is the string goes there, and now you have an A. All right, if you're in Canada, that's very convenient because they have they uh, they say A a lot up there. A. All right. Now, when you go to cut it, you pull the string. You're now looking at this. Your finger is hiding. Your finger is hiding that. All right. You then take your scissors and you give it a cut. Just like that. Now you can actually show everybody that they're separated. And when you do that, you're hiding it behind your fingers, like this. Put the straws together, kind of give them a yank again, and then you just pull it through. And as you pull it through, your hand's hiding that part, but it's just going right across, and you show everyone the string is fine. Another trick for your magic arsenal. God bless.